To enter the glove box, you need a few items every time in order to properly use and measure chemicals. First, you're going to have a basket in which everything will rest when you're entering and exiting the glove box. Very important is a rose gold spatula. This is used for our catalyst because this is a very specific amount that you can use to properly measure our catalyst in very small quantities. Next, you need at least one spatula for the NaOTBU, which is our base. If you have a solid reagent as well, you may need to bring in an extra spatula. For any liquid reagents, you will need a microliter syringe and you will want to have them already put together so that you don't have to worry about putting them together inside the glove box with the sharp needle, which could puncture the gloves. If you have multiple liquid reagents, you will need more than one syringe. You will need a pasture pipette with a bulb, which you can put together before entering the glove box. Uh, this is used to dispense our toluene, and one large bulb is usually all you need. Make sure that when you're putting things in the basket, all things with sharp ends are all pointing the same direction so that you know which direction to retrieve from the glove box. To prepare your microwave reaction vial, you need to have an oven dried vial that has a microwave stir bar already inside of it. You place that inside of a small beaker with at least two, but up to three or four microwave seals in case one of them breaks, and one microwave cap to seal the vial. Once those are all placed inside, you cover it with a chem wipe and cinch it closed with a rubber band to prevent the caps and seals from flying out when you evacuate the chamber. Next, you'll want to put in any whey paper you might need. You will need one for our solid base and then at least one extra and any extras that you need for any solid reagents that you might have. It's good to tuck these under something heavy so they don't fly out when you evacuate the chamber. Finally, if you have any reagents you need to bring into the glove box that are not already inside the glove box, you will need to bring those in with you as well. If they're very large, like this large bottle of C0, you can leave it outside of your bin and put it in after the bin is done. If it's something small, like this bottle of H11, you can place that inside your bin with everything else. So the first thing you need to do is fill out the check-in paper with the date, your name, the group, the time that you are entering the glove box, and the sensors. The H2O and the O2. And then the N2 tank pressure. So first you must turn off eco mode, turn on the vacuum pump, and turn on the box light. Then you open the antechamber by pulling on the black lever You place your basket of accoutrement inside after sliding out the internal tray. Replace the internal tray and close the antechamber door. Make sure to close the black lever. And then you begin to evacuate and refill. This step must be done three times. So to evacuate, you turn the black lever all the way to the left until the pressure decreases all the way to negative one, about 30 seconds.
After the third evacuation, you refill the chamber one more time, and then return the valve to the closed position. The next step is putting on the white cotton gloves that must be worn any time you are going into the glove box. And then putting on the black thick gloves. And the easiest way that I've found is if you put your pinky in first and then slide the rest of your fingers in. So after you put your fingers in the gloves, you push all the way through until your arms are fully inside the glove box. You can use any hands that you manage to get inside to readjust the gloves and try and get them as tight on your hands as possible. Once you have your gloves on, you open the inner antechamber door by pulling on the black lever. And opening the inner blue door. You slide out the internal metal tray and retrieve your chemicals. After, after that, you replace the metal tray and close the antechamber door, making sure to close the black lever as well. In order to weigh a solid in the glove box, you should start by first placing a piece of weigh paper on the balance and tearing it as you would normally do. Then you want to carefully spoon your sample onto the weigh paper. Our target is 200 milligrams. You want to get as close to your target mass as possible but be aware that the changing pressures inside the glove box cause the mass to fluctuate in the readout from the balance. So getting within five milligrams of your target is usually acceptable. Make sure to seal all chemicals after you're finished using them to prevent any spills. Then, after you've weighed your chemical, you must carefully transfer it into your reaction vial. Once you have finished putting everything inside the microwave vial, you will place the seal on top and then screw on the cap. Screw the cap all the way down tightly, but make sure not to over time. And then place everything that you brought into the glove box back into your uh, bin. Make sure that any chemicals that you brought in, uh, including solvents or solids, or are back in your bin. Anything that was in the glove box when you started can remain in the glove box unless otherwise stated. And also be sure to remove any garbage or trash that you've generated while in the glove box to keep it clean for the next people to use. Once your area is cleaned up, getting out of the glove box is very similar to how you entered. The first thing you do is you open the antechamber door by pulling on the black lever. You slide out the internal metal tray. 
You place all of your items to take out of the bread box on the tray. And then you slide the items in the tray back into the antechamber. Close the door and make sure that the lever is sealed tightly. So first, to take items out of the glove box, you can just open the door, no need to evacuate or refill. Make sure to remove all items and check inside the antechamber to make sure that it is empty. Close the door to the antechamber and make sure that the black latch is sealed. And then it is good practice to leave a little bit of vacuum in the antechamber to prevent leaks. So we are going to evacuate until the pressure is at negative 20 kPa. Once there's a little bit of vacuum in the antechamber, all you have to do to turn off the glove box is hit the eco mode button and it automatically shuts everything off. Then make sure to sign out, putting the date or the time that you left the glove box and making sure to go through the final checklist and make sure that everything is checked. And that's it.